Hello there folks, Earthmaster here checking in on the Earthquake Live 3D stream, January 7th, 2021, 4.58 p.m. And got a uh, pretty good sized earthquake striking the uh, globe here, the Earthquake 3D globe, coming off of a 6.3 magnitude quake in an area where we've seen some uh, pretty deep movement there around the Fiji Islands area. The 6.3 striking south of there. We'll go ahead and take a look at, at the uh, different map here and you can see the red circle indicating that most recent earthquake there near New Zealand. Oh, about, what do they got? About 500 miles north of this region here. North of Auckland, New Zealand area. Uh, looks as though, Let's see here, let's double check. Yeah, this is actually pretty deep, 223 kilometers. So I don't believe we're gonna see any uh, tsunami with that at all. That's a pretty deep one, including uh, some activity up here was uh, to add on to that deep activity. We did have a, a 6.1 over here uh, in this area yesterday or day before, I believe. I can't remember exactly when, getting all my days mixed up. But uh, let's go ahead and see if I can find that here, seven days. Right around the Indonesia area is where that 6.1 struck, right up in here in that blue circle. Uh, but since then, there's been quite a bit of deep movement up there, uh, and also in this area, north of New Zealand region. Um, you can see some of these smaller quakes. Well, that one right there, that 6.2 kind of struck within the same area. That one is the one that struck, uh, when was that? Yesterday, actually. Wow, okay, yeah, just a whole lot of movement there. I completely forgot about that one. So we're looking at two six-pointers side by side, um, pretty much within the same area. This one here, much deeper compared to this 6.2 that struck, that was only 26 kilometers. This little, these little quakes in between here, take a look at those. Some of those are some pretty deep movements there. Um, a quake to the north of this region, just about 100 miles or so, 4.5 at 516 kilometers. Of course, in this area here that's, uh, that sees all this deep movement, it's, uh, it's a very common thing. But to have uh, two six-pointers side by side within uh, you know a day of each other is uh, a little on the interesting side there. Might have to watch this region for some further movement considering the depth of this earthquake as well. Uh, let's go back here to the uh, 2.5 and above just over the last 24 hours. You can see there hasn't been a whole lot. But, um, you know, that deeper movement sometimes takes a little while to uh, make its way to the surface here as far as surface quakes go. Not a super deep quake, folks, but uh, definitely not a surface quake 223 kilometers for that 6.3 i believe that thing showed up on the uh, seismograph stations as well uh, looks as though i'm missing a couple stations right now but uh it definitely did make its little mark here on uh let's see if i can bring this up here oh, well there's a solomon islands one but uh, i don't i'm not 100 percent certain that's the uh uh, that's at 6.3. It's possible, but it's not showing up too strongly there. Uh, a couple stations there. You can see Chile picking it up and also stationed down Southern California. Um, getting a hint of the signature of that large earthquake there that struck uh, south of Fiji, north of New Zealand here just a few minutes ago. That's that little um, irregular type spike on the seismographs there. Um, so yeah. Some good movement going on here, folks. West Coast relatively quiet at the moment. Not a whole lot of activity to report there. Go ahead and check out the all magnitudes real quick here. And uh, it looks like your typical day in California, right? Earthquakes, um, not a whole lot of movement to really report. Some minor activity out here. Um, Kind of just stretching over here to the to the southwest, if you will, <clears throat> just some microquakes. And uh, Yellowstone National Park, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice once again. Let's see if I can bring in Yellowstone National Park here real quick. It looks like that swarming has calmed down. 
Uh, we did see a little bit of swarming uh, yesterday and the day before, I believe. But uh, right now it looks pretty quiet uh, for that activity there at the park. Overall, without the 6.3, uh, definitely uh, been pretty quiet over here in this region of the world. Aside from the movement that we seen uh, yesterday there that with the 6.6.1, 6 uh, right? Where'd it go? Somewhere over there. Um, there we go. Got to go back beyond that 24-hour period there. So other than that, folks, it's pretty quiet out there. We'll see. Uh, I'm sure we'll start to see things change here, if not already. Uh, looks like that. Uh, looks like there was a little uh, 4.8 just a short time after the uh, 6.3 there. So I've already seen some surface movement over here to the northwest. Of course, deep movement uh, in this area ultimately um, um, tends to raise the possibility of uh, surface quakes up here. This one's only about 87 kilometers, so uh, further movement definitely expected in this region uh, pretty soon. It's already popping off there in the Solomon Islands area. Uh, all right, folks, we're going to jump off here, get back to what I was doing there. Just want to jump in real quick and uh, give a little info on that 6.3. I don't, I don't believe there's any type of tsunami statement, but we'll check it just for the heck of it. It's been reviewed. No tsunami statement. We're clear. Historical activity. Very, very active out here in the uh, in this region of the world, right? Check it out. I mean, uh, plate tectonics at work right there. It's been some big quakes out here in this region as well but for now just a pretty good size 6.3 quake striking north of new zealand south of fiji and uh, rather deep as well so stay safe out there folks we'll chat you guys uh, a little bit later on